Ooh. Hi there, this is Mrs. Rosnack. Today I'm going to show you how to assist a male resident with a urinal. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and sanitize my hands, rub that in, make sure I cover all surfaces and it's dry. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my supplies. I need two towels, a washcloth, a chucks pad, and then a urinal and even possibly a graduate if we're doing output on this resident. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and carry these away from my body, knock on the door, knock, knock. Hi, Mr. Miller. My name is Amy. I'm your STNA. Um, you had your light on. What do you need? And he's going to tell me that he needs to use the urinal. Okay, I'll get that for you. No problem. So this is kind of an embarrassing um, thing that he needs to do. So we're going to go ahead and give him privacy. We're going to put on gloves. And I'm going to go ahead and set up my stuff on the tray table just so it's within reach. Put a barrier here. You could leave it on the bed if you want. You don't have to do this on the tray table, but if you do work on the tray table, just make sure you put the barrier. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and raise the bed up because I need to put a chucks pad under him. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put up this side rail on the opposite side of where I'll be working. And you also, for this skill, it says to lock the bed. Go ahead and lock the bed. That's in case it would move, the urine would spill out of it, that's why you have to lock the bed. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and raise the bed up about thigh high level. And because I'm gonna roll him over, it's easier to roll him over when he's flat, I'm gonna put his head down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uncover him. All right, Mr. Miller, I'm gonna go ahead and roll you over. So I'm gonna roll him over, make sure he's not on his arm, his face isn't in the side rail. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chucks pad. The chucks pads are a color on one side, that is the waterproof side, and then they are white on the other side, which is the absorbent side. So the color should go down on the sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this under him center it under his butt and then I'm going to roll him back over pull this handrail up come over to the other side get the chucks pad roll him over a little bit grab that chucks pad and bring that flat underneath him I always try to just pay attention to keep him as covered as possible. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit him up because um, if he has to urinate in the urinal, you're not going to want to do that flat. Urine is going to spill all over. It's not natural to lay flat and then urinate. So I'm going to go ahead and sit him up. I'm going to ask him if he can put the urinal in place himself or if he needs help. And usually the urinal is in the side table. Um, if he needs help, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you tuck his penis inside of the urinal so it's not gonna leak out, okay? And then if it's a resident who really can't hold this on their own and they're gonna spill it on their bed, you might have to stay there with them and kind of put the sheet and the blanket over top of them and hold that in place. We're gonna assume that this resident is able to take care of himself and do this all on his own. So I'm gonna go ahead, let him place it himself, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hand him his call light. All right, and then um, I'm gonna lower his bed because I'm walking away from the bed. And I'll put his side rails down too. Okay, Mr. Miller, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you for a moment. When you're done urinating or going to the bathroom, you can go ahead and give me a call, okay? Your call light's right here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the room and I'm just gonna kind of wait by the room um, and I'm not gonna forget about him and go to another resident or anything like that. I'm just gonna wait until he's finished outside the door. When I see the light go on or I hear the call light, I'm gonna go ahead in. Okay, Mr. Miller, did you finish urinating? He's gonna tell me yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove carefully that urinal. Let me take this away. Make sure you don't spill any urine on his bed. 
okay? And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and if, I'm gonna notice the color, if there's odor, anything like that, and if there is, I'm gonna report that and chart it. The other thing is if they are on output, I'm gonna have a graduate nearby where I pour that in with a barrier between the table and the graduate, but we're gonna assume that this resident does not have output ordered. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this urinal over to their bathroom. I'm gonna dump the urine into the toilet. Then I'm gonna go to the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and wash, rinse this, and never pour the urinal, what's in the urinal, into the sink. I'm also gonna disinfect it per protocol of the facility. Dump that. Okay, and then as best as I can, I'm gonna dry this urinal. It's very difficult to dry the inside of it, obviously, but I'm gonna make sure that I get the outside clean and dry, because this is gonna go back into their drawer. I'm gonna head back to their drawer. and I'm gonna put the cap on this urinal and then I'm gonna replace the urinal back where I got it from. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove these gloves and do this properly where I tuck the one glove into the other, make a little bundle, and I go ahead and put this into the garbage can. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the sink um, and I'm gonna get this wash rag wet to wash his hands because he took care of himself. I wanna make sure that his hands are nice and clean. Go ahead over, and you can stay there, Willow, if you want. Okay. I'm just going to get this wet, maybe put some soap on it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wash the resident's hands. So I'm going to bring this in here, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab gloves and put these on because, whoop, that came out, um, because uh, his hands are dirty because he just urinated and he might have been like, playing around with the urinal and that kind of thing. So I wanna make sure I put gloves on. Um, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and either assist him washing his hands if he needs that or encourage him to do it himself. All right, Mr. Miller, we're gonna go ahead and wash your hands. Wash the other hand. I'm gonna put this in the linen hamper and then we're gonna dry his hands. Okay, and then I noticed that his chucks pad is still underneath him. So anytime you put a chucks pad on them, um, when it's uh, required for the skill, then you wanna go ahead and take that off. Uh, I will be honest with you though, and most of these places, at, uh, most of these long-term care facilities, I'm gonna throw this away in the linen hamper, they have the chucks pads under them all the time because it saves you on changing sheets. So realistically, you're gonna have the chucks pad under them all the time and it's gonna help you to lift them up in bed and those kind of things too. But for the purpose of this skill, we're gonna go ahead and remove the chucks pad. So we're gonna have to roll him over and in order to do that, we're gonna lay him flat because that's the easiest way to roll them. It's hard to roll them when their heads are up. Notice I put the handrail up because I'm gonna roll him towards that side. Okay, take this down. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll him over. Try not, make sure his hand is not pinned. Make sure his face does not go into the side rail. Roll this. Roll him back, make sure the sheets are all nice and clean, not wet and wrinkle free. Okay, Mr. Miller. Cover him up. Roll this railing up. This way slightly and then pull this chucks pad out from under him and make sure that the sheets are wrinkle free okay make sure his bed linens are good and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the linen hamper and I'm gonna lower his bed and then I can put this other side rail down The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove my gloves. Make sure he has his call light. All right, 
right, Mr. Miller, is there anything else I can get you? He's gonna um, tell me no. If you need anything, just give us a call. Um, obviously, if I use this graduate, I would wash, rinse, and dry it, but I'm gonna assume I did not use it for this skill, so this is just gonna go back into the side table. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull back the curtain. And then I'm gonna go ahead and leave the room. And the last thing I do is sanitize my hands. Thank you.